Jamie, what was it like uh, watching Penny become the most decorated Olympian in Canadian history? It was awesome. I mean, just whenever you get to watch your sister race on a big stage like that, it, it's uh, it's really exciting, pretty stressful. But, um, you know, Penny Penny puts on a show and uh, seeing her win that medal was, was great. And, you know, I'm sure for her, it was a great accomplishment. And, uh, you know, it was, it was, it was a really exciting. I know five years ago, you were in Rio. We got a chance to talk to you there. Uh, what has the family been doing to, to kind of watch these races from afar this year? Uh, we've been getting together. My parents come down to my place uh, in Toronto here and we usually watch the race together. And uh, it's a lot of energy. You know, we wish we could be there in Japan now, but, um, you know, unfortunately with everything going on, we, we do what we can. And, uh, you know, we, we've been connecting with Penny and calling her and just trying to cheer her on. And I think it's, uh, it's, been, it's been cool to kind of experience this all together. What is the nerves like watching? You've played in some pretty big pressure moments in your life. Uh, what's it like watching these races? Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm just a, I'm a fan, you know? I mean, I'm sure it's just like everyone else, you know, I'm, I'm cheering her on and I'm, uh, there's a lot of energy in, in, uh, in the house when we're watching her and, you know, a lot of screaming. And uh, like I said, it's, it's pretty stressful, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of a fan right now and sitting back and enjoying her. I know that she kind of got into swimming when you had already left the house, but when did you kind of realize she had the potential to, to do something this special? Uh, you know what? I mean, she's still my little sister, right? I mean, you know, even now, you know, whenever I see her, we don't really, I don't really see her as the, the big Olympian swimmer. You know, I, I think we do a pretty good job kind of putting our jobs aside and, and, you know, just being siblings and me, Penny and my other sister, we, you know, we, we're pretty close and, you know, whenever we get together, it's, uh, you know, we, we don't really talk too much about it, but um, yeah, I mean, it, when watching her, it's just, it's surreal, you know? She was talking yesterday about how she was dealing with a back injury. We always talk about toughness and playing through injuries in hockey. What stands out to you about her toughness? Um, you know, I, I think just, more than anything, her, her mental toughness too. I mean, she's gone through a lot these past four years and to be able to do it again after, you know, what she did in Rio is, is really impressive. And I think uh, it really, it really speaks a lot to just how well she prepares and, you know, how well she is mentally and uh, how confident she is in her abilities. So um, it's fantastic to see. And I, I think, uh, you know, she's just, uh, she's a great athlete. What stood out to you these last five years? Because you mentioned it's not easy. The hype, I'm sure, the expectations after what happened in Rio when she burst onto the scene as kind of the young star, and then the pandemic pushes it back here. I mean, that's a lot to throw at someone who's still really, really young. Absolutely. I mean, again, it goes back to, you know, just that mental toughness. I think she uh, she's done a good job handling all the pressure. And like I said, I think she really wanted to make a statement after Rio that you know, she could do it again. And I'm sure... Uh, you know, she's, she's put all that doubt behind her now. I mean, she's just, she's done so well and we're all so proud of her. And, um, you know, I think she's, she just raising for herself at this point. What excites you the most about joining the Seattle Kraken? I mean, it's just a whole, whole new experience, you know, um, it's a whole new team. I've haven't really, I'm not too familiar with the city of Seattle, but just being there for the, uh, the uh, draft, I mean, you just feel the energy there, the fans and, just the vibe or, you know, around the guys and the organization. I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be an exciting year and I'm, you know, I'm ready to get it going. You know, it's, it's going to be a whole new experience, but um, I think uh, hockey's overdue in Seattle. That's for sure. I mean, you look at what Vegas did, it kind of reimagined what we think of uh, when we think of expansion teams and what they can accomplish. What, what do you think it's going to be like? What do you have any expectations for what the Kraken can do this coming season? Uh, you know, I mean, I, you know, it's hard to put expectations like that. And obviously, you know, Vegas had a lot of success, but I think teams have kind of, you know, it's a whole different, whole different uh, experience now with the Kraken. But, you know, all, I, I'm excited to get there and do what I can to help us win games. You know, just being with the guys, I think everybody's excited to get things going. And we got a great, great core group of guys and I'm excited to meet everyone else. And, you know, I'm sure, you know, we're, we're not going to expect anything less and do what we can to, to win as many games as possible. How are you feeling about your game? How would you describe to Seattle fans what they're going to get from Jamie Alexiak? Uh, I mean, 
obviously the big thing that, that uh, obvious is, is the size, right? I mean, just being a big guy that can play physical, use my stick. And um, I think also being able to move the puck up the ice quick is, is a big part of my game. And um, I think for the most part, just physicality and shutting down plays is, is kind of what my uh, specialty is. So you look forward to the next season. Penny will be coming home. You're celebrating, obviously, the, the new contract, the new deal. Is there something in the works? I know still theoretic, you know, we're in a pandemic here, but is there going to be a fun Alexiak family kind of event when everyone gets back together? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure we'll go up to the cottage at some point. And uh, I've been doing a little swim training myself, so I might have to race Penny. Hopefully get a, you know, I'm going to need a long, <laughs> long head start before before she gets going. But yeah, I mean, we're, I'm sure we're going to get together at the cottage and just catch up and, you know, see family and whatnot. And, um, you know, just, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be good to have everyone in the household. It's been a while. So with everything going on, it's nice to see family for sure. Are you a swimmer as well? Or is this kind of a late development for you? It's a late development. I'm definitely more of a sinker. But, um, <laughs> you know, I, I think part of being an athlete is getting out of your comfort zone. And I thought I'd give swimming a try. And it's uh, obviously it's pretty tough, you know, but I'm kind of chipping away at it. That's awesome. So is that help, something that you think that will help you on the hockey side, just in terms of your strength, or is it just more of a recreational fun thing? Uh, no, I mean, I, I do it for training purposes. Um, like I said, I think being an athlete, you kind of have to get to your comfort zone. I mean, things can get kind of monotonous. We do the same training over and over again. So I think doing swimming is something a little bit different and, you know, kind of use different muscles that you're not used to and, you know, developing them. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, I wouldn't say I'm the best swimmer ever, but, you know, like I said, it's uh, something I enjoy working at. Do you have a favorite stroke yet? Uh, I just do freestyle. I mean, I can't do anything else, basically. <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not much of a swimmer, so I'm sticking to the basics right now. We'll see what happens down the road, though.